No, I don't touch the bank. She's going to go to the bank. Look at it. It'll be great. I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The baby did say haircut today. We walked into the. Hey, I'll show you what I got. Open the door. Oh, the people are going to walk. Really? How old is he? How are you? Good to see you. Call this meeting of the Perry Independent School District order. Let the record show that a quorum of board members are present. This meeting has been duly called. Notice the meeting is posted in accordance with Texas Open Meeting Act, Texas Government Code, Chapter 551. Would you all pray with me, please? Dear Heavenly Father, we're so grateful for the many, many blessings that you brought before us. We thank you for the opportunity to serve. We thank you for the opportunity to be in this room together. We ask that you be with us in all the decisions we make for our district, that you watch over us, keep us safe throughout the start of the new school year coming up. Help us that all the decisions we make be within your will for us. In thy heavenly name we pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> Good morning. Do we have anyone for open forum? We do not. Reports. Superintendent, Okay, I'll just make things brief and make as brief as I can since this is only day 12. I only have day t uh, 12 days of things to report. So um, we have uh, begun registration uh, process and we started, the high school started today. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be watching over our numbers um, with the tornado. We're anticipating a, a student loss. And so uh, hopefully that's not going to be very much. We're, we're hoping that uh, that people have found ways to stay. But we're going to be watching those those numbers pretty carefully, and I'll be updating you guys as we as we have numbers today. Today is just beginning of the, the beginning of the process. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys are aware, but just to update you a little bit, we've had a lot of school supplies that have been donated, uh, and we've made the commitment to. Uh, so to give, we, we have enough to for kids to start out with, and we're going to um, supply any extra supplies that kids need. We want to take those bur that burden off our families, uh, especially during this time as people are recovering from the tornado. So um, we're going to be distributing the supplies we've already had donated to campuses, and anything that is we we will have a a good supply for kids as they need it through the year. And any, any specialty things or little things we might run out of, we'll find ways either by donations or, or other ways to supply those. So we're trying to take that burden off our families. And speaking of burdens off families, we're also uh, going to delay uh, requesting fees from our uh, students and, because we're going to identify the kids who truly are affected by the tornado. And hope we've gotten a pretty good donation um, so that those those kids are not going to have to pay their fees or Chromebook fees, their parking fees. So we're going to we're delaying collecting those for a week or two until we can identify the kids that were displaced, and so that we can make sure we take care of that, uh, and then we'll collect those fees later. Um, and other than that, we we've had uh, if you, if you notice, there's um, been a lot of air conditioners that have been sitting in parking lots, and and Alan may want to talk about a little bit about that, but those have been coming in. I think we're only waiting on a, a, a large one. That's two large ones that are supposed to be coming in, but uh, those are are starting to come in and getting put on roofs. So um, I don't know about y'all, but <coughs> when new air conditioners get put in in 100 degree heat in Texas, that's a that's something to celebrate. So uh, so that's the just a brief update on what's going on from Superintendent. Any questions? We move on to director's reports. First one in my book, Ms. Huber. I need to go first. You do? You are first in the book. Well, I wish I could tell you I have nothing to add, but I have a few things to add. We uh, are going to contract with Presence Learning. Like it says in my report, I did not have any applicants for face-to-face, -face, which means I am in the process right now of interviewing to hire a speech facilitation para who will go into those classrooms and get those kids and take them to the therapy sessions and be in the room with them to facilitate to make sure they're on task and that the teletherapy is working. Does that make sense? Uh, these therapists that we work with, we work with presence learning, like I said, very um, experienced at teletherapy. They've been doing it for years. They've been doing it with babies. They've been doing it with high school kids. So they have a lot of experience to pull from. 
We won't necessarily have just one therapist or two. We will have therapists that meet the exact needs of the students. So we will have a bilingual therapist for our bilingual students, and then uh, we will have other therapists for the students with other needs. Uh, I wanted you to know that the child find and distribution of uh, destruction of records notices have been posted in the local newspapers. Since we have to meet that mandate, I wanted to make sure you knew that we did that. Also, uh, the very last line of my report talking about uh, self-assessment, I have met with Mrs. Campbell and we've started that plan. We've put a team together and we've scheduled some dates for that. So that's all. Any questions? Thank you very much. IT department report. I didn't say I didn't see I so yep. <coughs> so any other questions you can refer to the office I like. The phrasing in his report a couple of different places was done in a professional way. <laughs> so some earlier pictures. Uh -huh. Maintenance report. Yeah. I don't have much to add other Brown was saying that some of the American districts are showing up. Uh, of course, they've got Williams completed on the split systems inside. They started on the right. Uh, probably have uh, about nine of those changed out as of today. I think we have all the rights here and all the Kinders sitting over there. Just about to them put a finish right and then move over to Kinder to start those. Uh, tentatively, uh, the other contractor out of Pampa that is doing the junior high and the ranger gym. Typically right now I think they're supposed to maybe be here the 7th and they're going to try to knock all the air conditioners out of junior high like in two days. So that's the plan right now. He's supposed to call me and make sure his electrician's going to be there to fire everything back up as they take them off and all that. Still waiting on one of the rangers. Alan, I, one of my questions too, you know, when they, in the past, they had done some work to the hospital years ago and they'd gone up there and replaced some big air, air conditioning units and had ruined part of the roof. Is, is, do we have any of that? I mean, they're taking precautions, I guess, while they're up there and yeah, laying down. Okay. Laying wood down to okay. Set them on and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, they've actually got some of that two inch. Uh, foam board that they used to insulate the outside of the house, you know, before they okay. uh, were using that kind of stuff to set things on. Perfect. They, they've been pretty, been pretty careful. Good. But you feel pretty good about that being all complete before the students get here at the junior high? He says he can. Yeah. So, be miserable if it's not. That's, yeah. yes, sir. that's one of the things that was, was said, you know, <laughs> i got to have them on by the 10th. Yeah. Yeah. We plan on doing half one day and trying to do that. Seamless price. Always. It's a lofty <laughs> goal. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Anything else? Let's go to the Ranger Roundup. There she is. Hello. How are you? <laughs> We've had a lot going on with our inspections <coughs> over the two campuses. Are there any questions on any of that right now? I'll try to provide updates for that as much as possible. And um, we do have our little troopers chugging along. We have had a couple of pickups, what we're working on, making sure we're ready for the first day of school. Um, I did get a letter yes. um, about the little troopers. Did, did all board members get that, or did just yes. everybody um, get that? Yeah. All board members will get that, and then I will need a visit with you to, um, as you as a controlling person as well. Okay. Um, but that's just routine for governing bodies. Right. Any other My questions? wife saw the return address. Said, "What'd you do?" <laughs> yeah. And you thought, "What did I do?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they sending a letter to me? Yeah, any updates and controlling persons, um, and I've let some of the people who are helping me with that. Um, I have two days to update anything like that with licensing, so if you get an email from me, they're pretty important. Um, I usually don't bother y'all unless I need to. <laughs> but we're, we'll be ready for the start of school, and um, our numbers are just, um, I don't know what we'll do after this year, <laughs> but I'm just grateful that we have these levels and a place for them. That's been one of my biggest concerns and just heavy on my heart after all of our recent events and 
just that we have somewhere for our kids and we've spoken to all of our families and reassured them that we have plans in place for their kiddos at the beginning of the year. Great. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry I'm late. Uh, been running around like crazy today. Uh, other than what I already turned in, I just wanted to compliment our volleyball program and our uh, cross country program, football program from the start that we've had. Numbers are awesome in every program. Um, are they our, up, coach? They're up in okay. everything. We had 47 girls try out for volleyball, which I, I think is really a big improvement from what I saw last year. Last year we struggled to put together three teams, and I think Coach Lynch is saying three teams of 13 girls maybe this year, which is huge. Right. Uh, football numbers, we have 20 seniors on the varsity and, and almost 40 kids total, which is great. It's up about 15 kids from what we finished with last year. Uh, JV program, freshman program are good. And then cross country numbers, I've, I've talked to Coach Rinkin. He's been uh, on them and got them started with practice, and they've all been really good too. Uh, if y'all if have some time to step in the gym and watch our volleyball girls practice, it's been really fun to watch. The energy has been so high and it's super contagious and, and Coach Lynch and those coaches have them going. And I, it's been really awesome to see. Uh, you're more than welcome to step out into the blow dryer and watch us practice every day too. Um, it, we, we've had a really fast start and it, it's very promising what I've seen so far from, from every level. So very excited about what we've got going on athletically. Um, well, our doors are open anytime. Come watch it and check out what we, what we got going. Uh, I know Blackwell has their first scrimmage this weekend, so they're they're off to a fast start. We're excited to see what they put on the floor. Coach, it's pretty hot out. Can you just send us videos? I can. I can. <laughs> I can. Uh, from our air the, the videos will only be the good clips, though. It won't be. Perfect. Any, That's all we need to see, won't, man. It won't be anything. That's all we need to see. Of the errors that are happening out there. We won't see that. I, yeah, you won't. You won't see anything but our coaches giving high fives. So if you see that, I think that means we're probably doing pretty good. Fair enough. Okay. That's all I've got. Thank you. Communication safety. Um, I don't have anything to add for communications. We did have our safety meeting last week, um, so there's some changes that we made and decisions that were made. I sent the agenda to the two board members on the um, committee, but if any of y'all want to see that and just want to check it out, I can share that with y'all also. Just reach out to me. Any other questions? Thank you. She is running late. Okay. She will probably be here in just a little bit. Okay. I see Mr. Cates wandering around out there, but I don't see a report. Do you have a verbal report for you? It's all good at Williams. Short and sweet, right? Let's go. It's time. That's it. Okay. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Curriculum and instruction report does not have a page to follow. No. no. Ten minute report. For us. Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to say that today was the first day, so next next month next you'll have something. We can make that work. I can, I can update a little bit. The curriculum okay. instruction team has been working really hard in training our new teachers. Um, they, we, we started that uh, <coughs> yesterday. Um, they've been training on uh, Texas Instructional Leadership, which is TIL. They've been training on Lead Forward, which is uh, a, a company that helps us in our data disaggregation and in strategies for classroom uh, teaching. And they have been working awfully hard in pulling all this together. For, uh, and We've been having conversations getting ready for about a month and they put their plan in place and um, they're a, you know me being new they're a solid group of people and uh, we're in good hands uh, with that group of people so that's that's what they're doing and we'll be doing that they'll be training and getting things ready for the next for the next week probably uh, each day uh, getting ready for school to start so and then Mrs. Hale will co officially come on board next Monday she's here tonight she'll be here Thursday but uh, next Monday will be her f her first official day and she'll be rounding up that team and and cracking the whip or well no uh, <laughs> it's probably not right so anyway providing leadership yes good leadership but sometimes involves whip cracking the whip <laughs> <laughs> and high fives see if those reports are written disbursements starting on page 16 Nothing sticking out. Um, let's see our cash 
on page 44. We're ending the year on a good note. Like I said the past two times, we hope to be contributing the fund balance. I don't see a reason we won't be. Um, as you can see, we're up about 1.8. That was at the end of June. Keep in mind, we just ended July yesterday. So there's actually even more. I think we're at like 98% collected on everything. Like if you look at page 60 instead of 92, we're at 98. That was yesterday when I looked at that. Um, and that is about it on that. And then I'd really like to talk to you all about the values that have come back. Unless I have questions on any of the financial stuff. Any questions about the first report before we talk about values? Okay. Um, so you'll see two separate pages. Of course, one with the 40,000 home study exemption, and then you'll see one with the 100,000. I kept the 40,000 in here so that y'all can compare apples to apples from last year. So those are all our values. They're up from last year. About 10, or I'm sorry, 4%. 3.6% from last year's values, 42 million. But then you'll go to the third page and it shows you what our values are with the $100,000 homestead exemption. That's what I'm going to have to work off of for budget and that's what TEA is going to give me on the fifth, our maximum or minimum, maximum compressed value. Just so that y'all are aware that I'm working off the hundred thousand instead of the forty thousand when y'all start seeing my numbers, and then were, were these off the rates after the adjustment for the tornado? Yes, sir. Okay. These are the ones that I received so, on. The yeah, 20th. I mean, I see the date on here. Oh, okay. Twenty fifth on the front. I just want to make sure. Yes, yes, those are adjusted for, um, and then the value that I'll be using for our T two numbers is that 1.128 billion number and that's because I base it off of last year's change from the whenever the comptroller certifies RT2 values in January I believe that's where we're at on our local values and I'll get our MCR on the 5th And then tomorrow our audit starts. We get one day early that they're going to come, which is not normal. Or, I'm sorry, not traditional. When we had Brown Graham, they wouldn't come while the year was still going, but we'll see them for a full day tomorrow. Any other questions? Thank you very much. Us to, unless I've missed anybody, which I have a habit to do sometimes. Right, well, high school? I just look up, <laughs> see who all's here. Do you all have anything special you'd like to add? Um, we're just working hard to get ready for the start. <coughs> um, I think he was trying to tell you that his locker came in. Ah, I see you about to reach shoulder down. Oh, I thought you were. Judy, do you have anything? <laughs> No, everything is just moving along at um, Wright and at Kinder. I'm just getting ready for all the students, and we're excited to start the year. Let's talk about school enterprises. Okay. I have a little. We can that out or not yet. Not sure. Like this one's kind of nice. This one. Yeah. I think I'll mine. I wish mine was in Do not go there. <laughs> The main reason why I wanted 
to come before y'all. It's definitely because of the tornado and the impact that it's had on several families, even people that are full paid have all been affected too. Um, Dee Dee Ortega, who works for Region 16, did us a little, this is, this is a form that we do every year to see if we need to go up or don't. don't. And our required price increase would be 317. And with us, as you can see, we're still 38 cents behind. So the thing is, on page two, you have it where we went up 10 cents across the board. I recommend we do not go up on breakfast. We're fine on breakfast. There's no reason to really raise that. A lot of times we raise lunch and we don't raise breakfast. And we just raised breakfast last year, so I would advise that we don't do that as far as the breakfast. And this is what she played with, and that's the suggested prices that I would recommend too. The 305 from the 295, the 330 from the 320, and then the 355 from the 345. And then that kind of gives you a little on the price adjustment calculator that shows you that too. To, to make our way to the average price of 317. We do have the option due to the fact that um, we had a positive ba balance in June 30th of 2022 of not going up. The thing is that would still put us 10 cents behind and we would have to catch that up either next year or the next year. Split it like 15 cents, 15 cents or go up. Granted, this only affects the paid, which is a pro or con, however you want to look at it if you're paid. I guess it's a, it's a con, but if you're not. The reimbursement rates, I gave you that sheet, and we do not get that extra this year. And so this is the new rates that we have. And we get a little bit more on breakfast than what it's showing here. So I'm not worried about breakfast, but lunch, I would be more concerned if we didn't we didn't go up that 10 cents. We are trying to encourage, and since this is on social media, please come see us and fill out a lunch application. It takes two to three minutes out of your day, and you will be surprised at how many people actually qualify. The amounts are very, I mean, it's very much so. If you lose a job during the year, if you have a baby during the year, refill them out because it's based on your family size and your income. And we definitely don't want, if people will do that along the year, then we don't have this fine balance and not know what's necessarily going on. And we do still have some OE from last year. I did not call them after the tornado. I did not think that was appropriate. And so therefore, we're gonna carry it over till. We have to get it cleared up August 31st, but we're working on that, and we sent out let we sent out their IOUs. The school started up and everything, but I think a dollar amount is that that we have owing still yes. probably close to about two thousand with everybody. The thing is, a lot of kids withdraw, and I know, and y'all can verify that they withdraw without y'all ever knowing, and I understand that. A lot of kids withdraw, and maybe we need to check. With the cafeteria and I realize sometimes they want to check with the cafeteria people well they may not be there but call our office and we will definitely let you know if they have a balance owing or if they are clear and everything um, so that all has to be as everybody knows taken care of um, I did have someone calling ask for a roundabout amount that they may try to help. So we're kind of waiting through registration to see what we do get and don't get. And through the IOUs that we sent out this week and just kind of seeing that. But I do, I mean, if I could beg, I would beg, beg you to fill out the lunch applications because if you see people, please tell them because that's one way to help our school. Granted, in many different ways, not just the food service, but it's a great way to help that family. And we are more than happy. I have had some already submit some before registrations and stuff. And we will be at the Kinder, the Wright and the Williams registration. We will go over there and we'll do it in their computer labs and we'll help them. And we are always, 
ready to help. And like Sarah speaks Spanish, so she can help the Spanish and I can help the English and we can get them out. It's just we need to really have them, have them try to apply. And if I mean, if we can get that word out to do that, we're gonna, I'm also gonna give it to Daisy to give to the media and I wrote up a article thing and let them announce that too. So, so basically I just wanted y'all to Y'all to help me carry the burden of when I say I raised prices yeah. ten cents that it wasn't because I wanted to raise prices ten cents. Yeah, it's it's more, you know, a necessity than what we want to do. So, any again. questions? Sure. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, fancy piece of paper. Board will now convene in closed meeting to discuss the following items posted on our agenda this evening. It's allowed by Texas Government Code 551.074 personnel. No voting will take place in the closed meeting. Any action board wishes to take as a result of the discussion in closed session will take place. After the board reconvenes at an open meeting, it is now 626.